Hi, uh, I'm Simon Crook. I lead a business called Cress. And in summary, we're the uh, industrial equivalent of a Toyota Prius. So this first slide shows uh, uh, on your right a rubber, rubber tired gantry train, or a RTG. You can see hundreds of these at ports around the world, busily moving containers 24-7. They're typically powered, actually, would you believe it, by a diesel generator that drives the electric motors in the crane and the hoist. Power is used to lift a container, and then as the container is lowered, brakes slow its descent. Now the problem is that uh, containers, when they're lowered, that energy is just wasted in heating up the crane's brakes, wasting over 300 million globally in diesel alone. Now, if this energy could be reused to lift the next container, then it would save money, about 300,000 per crane per year. And our port customers tell us that that's an attractive uh, payback opportunity. This market's big, with over 10,000 of these cranes globally. That's worth a billion pounds in terms of uh, sales. So you can see why I said we're like a Toyota Prius with regen braking. Now, the photo at uh, your left is our demonstration system using full-scale components. So the components are already at full scale. So our system consists of three components, a composite flywheel that stores the energy and the design is inherently safe, a combined motor generator that converts kinetic energy to electricity and vice versa, and a control, control and condition monitoring system. Now, our system has a number of key benefits. The motor maintains a high efficiency throughout the torque range, which makes it much more efficient. Its cooling system reduces wear and therefore operating costs, and our bearing system has very, very low losses. This means this all goes to uh, improve our payback for customers. Our control system also means that the system is invisible to the driver, an absolutely key uh, aspect to customer adoption. The Crest system is based on flywheel technology developed by BP and our motor generator was developed with a partner that has a five billion turnover. The control system uses industry standard hardware, but our own proprietary control strategy. As I said, our primary customer is ports and port groups. The sector very, very, has a very strong drivers for energy efficiency. It's a very competitive sector, and there are big sustainability drivers. We signed an MOU with one of Europe's largest ports. This port is our lead customer, and we're working closely with them to deploy a demonstration system in an RTG. This port group alone has a 1,000 cranes that we can apply our system to, so it's a perfect ready-made route to market. Ports are a growing sector driven by global trade, and our system is applicable to both new cranes, but more importantly, to retrofit. There are course competitors for this sector. There's no uh, one dominant technology, but we believe supercaps and batteries both have their issues in terms of cost and lifetimes. There are competing flywheel systems, but they suffer from higher losses and bearing uh, uh, losses, uh, sorry, losses due to gearboxes. Our lead com competitor actually agrees with our view that our system is superior, and we remain, they remain committed to deploying our system alone. We've got a great team. Uh, Beverly is our chair. Uh, I'm CEO. I've got 20 years' experience, the last 10 focused in clean tech solely. I was previously, before this role, head of clean tech at Gazprom. Uh, the University of Reading is actually a shareholder, and we benefit greatly from the support of their systems engineering group. The team has a further uh, five engineers in addition to our great supply partners. Our development path involves the development, workshop testing, and then demonstration at full scale on the crane system. The system is already fully designed, and the components have all been tested at full scale, as I said. We're now integrating the system and testing it with uh, a, a real world data. The next step will then be a demonstration on an RTG crane at our partner's site. Uh, we've been successful in gaining both commercial buy-in as well as uh, non-dilutive grant funding. In terms of sales, we believe we can capture 20% market share given uh, the market's competitive structure and the significant market share of our lead customer. And sales begin next year, rise to 10 million in 2017 and 50 million in 2020. After we've conquered cranes, um, uh, there are many attractive markets where we can recycle our waste in energy. Uh, we believe Cress is a bright future based on strong customer relationships, great technology partners, and an experienced team. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Right, you're wonderfully keeping to time, so well done. Let's keep it up. Uh, next.